You're the guests, and you can ask everything because the purpose of this is to know me. And I know you, to know Sister Kelly and your neighbors, those who you encounter in your business, in your whatever. We, we're, we're, we call ourselves Muslim Americans. We are Americans. Right? So this is very important for you. Speak up your mind. Wallahi, I swear by God, I will not be offended. In a society where the man is the dominant and he is my way or the highway, Islam does not want to put the woman in that situation. On the other hand, Islam tells the man, you can marry other than Muslims, but he also give him, gives him guidelines. Meaning that yes, you can marry a Christian or a, or a Jewish, but you cannot force her to become a Muslim. Yeah. Hadi, what are you doing today? Well, today was informing the people of Boulder about their Muslim neighbors and what Islam is about and what and like how it describes what we do and what's the purpose of Islam and we we give out these pamphlets and a translation of the Quran in English so they can understand what, what we're doing and learn more about our religion. The terms, but the name of the person who practices the faith of Islam is a Muslim. Now the word Muslim Islam and the greeting I gave you, which is Salam, all have the same root in Arabic. They all have that S L M sound, Muslim, Islam, Salam. And that three letter root, S L M, the root of meaning of that root is peace. And it also has a meaning of surrendering, a peaceful, loving surrender. So Islam means peace, it means surrender to God, and a Muslim is a person who tries to surrender to God and live in peace.